So the Google is now testing out the generative AI in Google search. So let's try this out. As of me making this video, it looks like it is only available in the US. If you don't live in US, but you still want to try this out, I think you can just use a VPN. Now go to the google.com and when it's available, you'll see a new thing in here, which says try AI powered overviews when you search. And there is one more thing added at the top which says search lab. If you click on it, it will give you different options and you have to actually turn them on. Right now there are only three options. Maybe in future we'll get more options like for different features, all right? Now let's get back to the google.com. Now you can simply search anything that you want once you have enabled all these things or you can just click on one of these examples. So let's click on this example and here it is this is how the generative ai is going to work in google search so basically it will give you the quick summary of the thing whatever you asked and it will also suggest you the other useful links web pages you can also ask follow-up questions if you click on ask follow-up question it will actually take you to the new interface of generative ai just like chat gpt this thing is just separate from the search engine so if you want to ask a new question in this box uh, then you can click on reset and here you can start to ask the new questions just like chat gpt how to make a windows 11 bootable usb drive and let's see how this thing works okay here is the answer and pretty accurate actually and it also gives you the useful videos links or you know article links so that's that and it actually pulls out the entire, you know, Google search engine too. Even though we are not inside the Google search engine, technically maybe we are, but uh, yeah, this is how this works. Let's ask a follow-up question. Any other alternative method of doing this? And yeah, it worked great. So it gave me a alternative method to make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. First, it showed a one of the most popular method, which is using a Rufus, and now it's suggesting us to use the media creation tool. Generate a HTML code for the website. It's a really basic, I mean, super basic template just to get you started. But uh, yeah, it also, you know, generates the codes for you if you are into that. And I, I, I know people will figure out to get even more from this let's ask last question with some follow-up questions what is the tallest mountain in the world yeah you're absolutely right <laughs> it's the mount everest what is the second tallest mountain okay i, I didn't know about this actually <laughs> so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.